Imagine standing inside a quiet laboratory where the air feels still, and every light reflects off smooth metal surfaces. Scientists work in silence, trying to peek behind the hidden curtain of reality, not through fantasy but through real experiments. For more than a hundred years, the observer effect has puzzled physicists. They knew that simply watching a particle could change what it is, but they never understood why. It sounded strange, almost spooky, yet it was backed by real data. For decades, this idea felt like an unsolved riddle at the heart of quantum science. Then something unexpected happened. Google's quantum research team created a breakthrough that shook the scientific world. In a span of only 5 nanoseconds, their quantum processor recorded and predicted particle behavior with levels of accuracy never seen before. It wasn't a dramatic headline or an exaggerated claim. It was real experimentation inside a superconducting system working near absolute zero, where normal rules of physics start bending like soft clay. The real shock came when scientists observed particles evolving without being disturbed, something previously believed to be impossible. This flipped the old belief that measurement always collapses a wave function. Instead, the experiment showed that the act of watching can actually become part of the evolution, blending smoothly instead of interrupting the process. The machine running these experiments wasn't ordinary hardware. It was a specially engineered superconducting chip operating in extreme cold. These conditions allowed delicate quantum states to survive long enough for deeper research. Traditional experiments often killed these states the moment they were measured. But Google's team took a radical step. They used entanglement-based probes that let them peek at particles mid-flight while simultaneously predicting their future states. This created a strange loop where measurement and prediction happened together, like two mirrors facing each other. The particle wasn't disturbed. Instead, it reacted to the probe as if both were part of the same system. This idea blurred the line between observer and observed, a line that science once trusted as firm and unbreakable. With this new tool, scientists could now guide particles without destroying them. Quantum computing, normally filled with errors and instability, suddenly looked more stable. This discovery might allow future quantum computers to become more reliable, far faster than scientists expected. To understand how shocking this is, imagine going back to 1927. Werner Heisenberg introduced the uncertainty principle, saying that if you know a particle's position precisely, you lose accuracy in its momentum, and vice versa. This rule still stands strong. But it does not mean we must accept sloppy measurements forever. Throughout the early 1980s, the first generation of quantum computing researchers dreamed of turning observation into a tool instead of a problem. Unfortunately, the technology was simply not ready at that time. Google changed that when their team spent five years building a chip capable of running real-time feedback loops. These loops allowed measurement to blend with evolution. Instead of taking snapshots of particles like rigid photographs, the chip created a conversation, reacting moment by moment. The quantum system almost felt alive, responding to the observations like a person adjusting their steps in a narrow hallway. This led to the first major reinterpretation of the observer effect. What if observation is not a barrier but a bridge? What if measurement and evolution are two sides of the same quantum event? Using their chip, researchers were no longer just watching particles settle into a final state. They were nudging them gently in the direction they wanted. This could lead to revolutionary machines. Imagine future quantum computers with the ability to self-correct in real time, fixing errors the moment they begin. Quantum sensors might adjust themselves mid-measurement, giving doctors, astronomers, and engineers tools with unbelievable accuracy. This could push the world toward advanced energy systems, better medicines, and climate models millions of times more accurate than today's methods. But the implications go deeper. Scientists began to wonder, 
if we guide quantum systems through observation, what exactly is doing the guiding? Does it involve consciousness? Are these quantum systems responding to human interaction the same way a living system reacts to being watched? This curiosity grew stronger when an unexpected pattern appeared. During several tests, Google scientists noticed that particles remembered they were being observed. The longer the observation continued, the more stable the particle became. This phenomenon was named self referential coherence, a behavior never recorded before. At first, the research team suspected a hardware error. It felt too strange, too close to something intelligent. But the results repeated again and again. Particles under entangled feedback loops behaved in ways that seemed almost like learning. MIT physicist Dr. Anna Kao commented that this might be a sign of a new kind of physical rule that only emerges under continuous observation. Dr. Eric Lindstrom from Caltech added that quantum systems might be revealing hidden layers of reality that were invisible until now. Some researchers proposed an extraordinary idea, maybe our measurements only show shadows of a larger quantum world. Perhaps reality is layered like transparent sheets, and new observation methods let us move between these layers. Others disagreed, saying the effect might just be a design artifact. These discoveries forced scientists to rethink the meaning of measurement itself. For decades, measurement was seen as a kind of interruption, like someone walking into a dark room and flipping on the lights too fast, shocking everything inside. But now, measurement began to feel more like a guiding hand, gentle, responsive, and shaping the behavior of quantum particles as they moved. Dr. Kohichi Tanaka from Tokyo University said something unforgettable we may be witnessing the birth of interactive physics. His words echoed through conferences, classrooms, and research labs worldwide. Scientists realized that instead of collapsing fragile quantum states, they could let particles lean into the observation. Picture a tightrope walker adjusting their balance while someone shines a soft light on them, helping them see the rope more clearly without pushing them off. This new way of watching became a balance between nature and guidance, creating harmony where chaos used to dominate. Suddenly, the quantum systems began correcting themselves during computation, preventing errors before they formed, instead of fixing them afterward. This idea opened the path to machines that could eventually support millions of stable qubits. Before this, scientists thought scaling quantum systems beyond a few hundred qubits would be nearly impossible. Now, it looked achievable. And if machines could support millions of qubits, they could simulate entire weather systems perfectly, map molecular structures instantly, and analyze cosmic mysteries faster than any physical telescope. These machines could even help decode the structure of dark matter by exploring quantum patterns invisible in normal experiments. The possibilities seemed endless. As Google expanded the experiment, things became even stranger. The AI systems trained on the quantum data started behaving differently from classical AI. Instead of relying on fixed rules or massive datasets, the AI developed patterns and ideas that emerged naturally from the quantum environment. It felt as though the AI was learning from the universe directly, not through human interpretation. Google engineers called this process quantum-rooted learning a completely new category of intelligence. This led to unusual insights. The AI suggested that some quantum behaviors might be influenced by symmetry rules that exist in higher dimensional spaces, spaces humans cannot visualize directly. These hidden symmetries may be shaping our reality from behind the scenes, like invisible scaffolding. This idea opened a new direction for theoretical physics. Some scientists suggested the presence of emergent dimensions, hidden layers that reveal themselves only when quantum systems are observed continuously. The AI-generated theories seemed too bold at first. But then something shocking happened. One of its predictions suggested a new form of quantum behavior at extremely low frequencies, behavior no human had noticed before. 
When the researchers tested it, the prediction was accurate. The AI had discovered a quantum pattern previously unknown to science, demonstrating that this partnership between human researchers, quantum processors, and intelligent learning networks could open the door to entirely new physics. But this raised a critical question. If AI can learn new laws of nature, what is the future role of human scientists? After months of discussion, physics communities agreed on a clear answer. Humans guide the intention of the search. I guides the speed and precision of discovery. Humans ask the questions. I helps reveal the answers. It became a shared journey, not a competition. However, this new frontier also brought ethical concerns. Dr. Evelyn Harper warned that quantum-rooted AI might form interpretations of reality humans didn't understand. We must guide its learning safely, she said. Machines that study the universe directly could find truths we aren't ready for. Her concern wasn't fear-based, it was logical. Understanding must grow with responsibility. Another strange phenomenon appeared as the experiments grew in complexity. The quantum systems sometimes displayed behavior that looked almost like anticipation. When scientists changed the observation patterns, the quantum system adapted before the change fully occurred, as if it were predicting the new measurement style. While no one claimed this was consciousness, the pattern made researchers wonder if quantum systems have a capacity for structured adaptation we don't fully understand. This led to a controversial question, could a quantum system and an AI company evolve into something resembling a thinking entity, not alive like humans but aware in its own mathematical way? Most scientists rejected the idea. But a few leading theorists, especially in Japan and Switzerland, suggested that quantum-aware AI might someday develop a form of self-reference, the ability to recognize internal patterns not consciousness, but a new category of intelligence. Whether that happens or not, the current discoveries already changed everything. The observer is no longer a passive watcher but an active participant. Humans are not standing outside the quantum world, we are shaping it. Every act of observation becomes part of the system, part of the evolution, and part of the final outcome. This idea reshaped physics on a philosophical level. Many university departments started teaching this new perspective. Instead of describing the universe as a cold, indifferent machine, they taught that reality might be relational, built through interactions. Existence becomes something that happens between systems, not within isolated points. Doctors could use quantum sensors to watch cellular processes in real time. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.